Todd's business outside of the work you did for Ellen Marie Despont? I worked, I worked for Equinox. At the same time, or? Yeah, during the week. And, and what is Equinox, ma'am? It's a gym, it's a gym. Okay, did you work more for Equinox than you did for Ellen Marie? Um, in the beginning, I tend to work, uh, might have been, some, uh, might have been three days. You know, I had a certain amount of hours there, and I had a certain amount of hours that they lean on the weekend. Did you also did you also work as a massage therapist with Econox? Yes. Okay. But uh, but yeah, up until oh the pandemic. What um, about uh, a situation where you might have had an emergency or needed to take some time off? How would you work that now? If I had an emergency, I would tell Eileen, or I would try to get my own subject with the the couple of girls that were there. A couple of other massage therapists who were with uh, uh, Ellen Marie Despot? Yeah, that worked, um, yeah, during the week or, or you know, on the weekend. My days were Friday and Saturday, and I was, I would, I was usually booked. And I, I was on schedule for the whole day, unless I couldn't, unless something came up and I said, I can't do this this time or whatever, and then we would work around that. But I was available the whole day Friday and Saturday. So you could arrange for another massage therapist from Ellen Marie to take over a, a, a particular shift or client for you? If I needed to, yeah, if I needed to, if it was an emergency. And I was doing five massages a day up until up until the last two or three years because I got sick, but then I was down to three massages a day, and I was I was both. Did you, I was ever, did you ever do the opposite where you filled in for one of the other massage therapists at Ellen Marie? No, because I was busy. Okay. I mean, I would come in for a client during the week if she was a regular, if she needed, she couldn't do it on the weekend and she couldn't, she wanted it Wednesday or Thursday, I would come in for that hour or an hour and a half. Were you ever required to attend any meetings, staff meetings at Ellen Marie? No. The, um, and did you schedule the, your own client, or was that done by the staff at Ellen Marie? It was done by the front desk, the staff. And just in terms of arranging payment, did you ever take payments from the customers, or was that done through the staff at Ellen Marie? I uh, never took money. It was from the, the staff, the front desk took it. Okay. Okay, anything else you want to tell me at this point, ma'am? Um, yeah, you know, this is how this came about, and this is, not, this is no attack on Eileen at all. I mean, I applied for unemployment because I was let go by the other girl, and uh, she didn't want massage anymore. And um, I was working less because I was taking care of my mom. My mom's really sick. And uh, so someone said, you know, you can you do you can get unemployment now. I'm a little ignorant. Like to the 1099, I had got unemployment from pandemic, from the pandemic, even with this 1099, and um, so I applied. And this uh, woman named Jill from Albany was home. And she goes, and she wasn't understanding, and she says, you know, you have the wrong form you filled out. And then she was talking on the phone, and she went over the questions, the questions that are here in, in this book, and and. That's how this all came about. Did you ever have any clients who um, failed to show up for a scheduled appointment now? Yeah, there was a couple. Did you, did you still get paid? No. Did, the, um, did, did you ever have someone fill in for you when you're not available who wasn't one of the, the massage therapists at the spot? No. Okay, Mr. Hall, do you have questions for Ms. Higgins? Uh, yeah, just one. Um, Ms. Higgins, so for the two days that you work, Fridays and Saturdays, how would that work? You would, um, you would, you would go in on Friday and Saturday whether you had an appointment or not? So that was, that was my schedule and usually the big, you know, the people would call in and make an appointment and if I didn't have an appointment, I wouldn't go in, but I was on call. You know, if I would, if, a call didn't come in at 10 or 11 or 12, but it came in at 3 or 4, I would come in at 3 or 4. Okay, so you wouldn't go in if you didn't have an appointment? Correct. 